The European Court of Justice, the ECJ, dealt on Thursday with the right to social assistance for union citizens who continue to live in the UK after Brexit and are unemployed. In the UK, universal, universal credit is a tax finance benefit for people on low incomes. Union citizens can only use the service if they have a right of residence in according with the Union Citizens Directive. To do this, they must either be gainfully employed or have sufficient resources of their own to secure their livelihood independently. The newly created right of residence with which the United Kingdom allows Union citizens to remain in um, England after Brexit and which is subject to less stringent requirements is not enough. All EU citizens who lived in the UK before December 31st can apply for this. There are no further requirements. If the previous residence was shorter than five years, the right of residence is limited to five years, while persons who are already permanent residents can stay in the UK permanently. The ECJ approved the regulation in its decision on Thursday. The ruling is also relevant for German nationals who are unemployed and continue to live in the UK. However, the ECJ has also made interesting statements on the protection of fundamental rights and social welfare, which deserve attention regardless of Brexit. A single mother of Croatian and Dutch nationality who had lived in the United Kingdom since 2018 had sued. She is not employed and now lives with her children in a women's shelter. In June 2020, she was granted a temporary right of residence in the UK, which had been introduced into UK law after the withdrawal agreement. The applicant's application for universal credit was rejected because her right of residence did not meet the requirements of the Union Citizens Directive. The ECJ had to decide whether this continued inadmissible discrimination on grounds of nationality. The ECJ initially based its decision not on Article 18 of the Treaty of the Functioning of the European Union, but on Article 24 of the Union Citizens Directive as a more specific regulation. The Union Citizens Directive links the right of residence to the exercise of gainful employment. Unemployed persons can only remain in other member states under strict conditions, for example, if they have sufficient means of subsist subsistence of their own. You do not necessarily have to receive social assistance benefits um, through this directive. The regulations on universal credit are in line with this and were therefore, unsurprisingly, confirmed by the ECJ. The court is thus moving in line with its earlier decisions. It's true that the directive makes it possible to provide more favorable requirements in national law. The United Kingdom has made use of this with the post-Brexit right of residence. Such rights of residence under national law, however, are not based on the Union Citizens Directive and therefore do not entail the right to equal treatment enshrined in the directive. The other considerations of the European Court of Justice makes people sit up and take notice. Although the refusal of livelihood benefits is laid down in union law, the competent authorities must check whether union citizens and their family members are thereby violated in their fundamental rights. The ECJ argued with the freedom of movement guaranteed under, prim under primary law and the basic status conferred by EU citizenship on nationals of the member states. Even if the applicant's right of residence arises solely from British national law, her situation falls within the scope of EU law since she has made use of her right to freedom of movement. Consequently, the rights enshrined in the Char Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union must be observed, in particular human dignity, private and family life and the rights of the child. Whether these rights have been violated also depends on whether EU citizens and their relatives can be granted other assistance under the national law of the country of residence. For the first time, the ECJ has recognized that the Charter of Fundamental Rights is also to be used as a benchmark when the member states define the requirements for social benefits in their national law. In an earlier case, the Court of Justice refused to do so, referring to the exclusive competence of the member states to define their social law. It is true that the Charter of Fundamental Rights does not convey the right to certain social benefits in a certain amount. However, other earlier decisions provide information about the minimum to be guaranteed. At least elementary needs such as nutrition, hygiene, shelter and healthcare must be met. 
People should therefore not be left to their own devices in a state of extreme material need, not even temporarily. Referring poor EU citizens to return to their country of origin alone is therefore not an option. Rather, all member states are obliged to provide all people with a minimum level of social security over and above the social law equal treatment rights, as long as they have a right of residence on their territory. And a lot of Brexiteers will come up now. We are out. We don't have to do anything with the ECJ anymore. And that's why you're wrong. The withdrawal agreement clearly states that on the matters of the withdrawal agreement, uh, the ECJ has a lot to say. So I suggest if you don't agree, just read it. And for the others, I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.